Hey everybody, I've got a quick unboxing I want to do here with the Player One Artemis M Pro that I just got. And this represents the beginning of my monochrome journey and I'm really looking forward to LRGB to begin with. Stick around and I will open this bad boy up and we will take a look at what's going on with the Artemis M Pro. So yeah, I have a box. I just got this the other day. And actually, um, this arrived while I was uh, traveling for the eclipse. And so I hadn't had a chance to uh, check it out yet. This is the first time I'm gonna open this up. It looks like there was some damage in shipping here, but uh, I think these things are packaged in like a hard case. Um, and I don't expect there to be any problems. So this is the Player One Artemis M Pro. And it is a monochrome camera and it uses the IMX 492 sensor, which is a four-thirds sensor. It's quite a bit larger than my 533 MC Pro. And uh, anyway, let's, let's get into it and have a look at uh, what's in the box. And they added a bunch of blank filler paper, which, hey, that's great. I can use that for note-taking and I think that might also be packaging. And then the camera. All right. Player one, astronomical cooled camera. So for some reason I thought these were actually packaged in like a hard case, like a Pelican. So it comes with a uh, USB cable, USB A to C, nice, I got a little blower, some Velcro straps are always welcome, I've got more spacers. Really quite a nice camera pouch. Another USB, which is what uh, B to C. And USB C to USB C. And some screws, which might be for mounting filter wheel or something like that. And an Allen wrench, which is included. Yeah, I can tell you how nice this case is. So let's see. So this is a, a hard case, but not the Pelican style. And then the Artemis M Pro camera itself. And so we've got a uh, primary USB-C port here and then a uh, secondary and then our power input. What was really the uh, selling point for me on this particular camera was the, the included tilt adjustment that's on the camera base plate. And the tilt adjustment is here on the backside so you can actually get to it while it's mounted and uh, that was really the selling point for me on this camera and not to mention that it was um, $100 less than the, uh, the ZWO uh, 294 that I was looking at which did not have an adjustable tilt plate on it. 
the sensor again is the, the IMX 492 and we'll keep that covered up and then when I was traveling I uh, was able to spend some time uh, with my friend Rich with Deep Space Astro and got to meet him and uh, we spent the day together and he's got a really nice 3D printer and he already had a pattern for his Player One camera and uh, for a uh, cable management and so he printed one for me. We didn't know if it would actually fit or not but I wanted to try it out and see if it does indeed fit, I know he has the Poseidon, and we didn't know if it was the same body dimensions. And this looks like that it's gonna fit. Yeah, it's a perfect fit. So anyway, hey, Rich. It fits, that's awesome. So yeah, anyway, this is the Artemis M mono camera from Player One. It arrived in good shape. They shipped it really fast. I was really impressed with how quickly that I received this. Um, and I'm really impressed. It's a, it's a beautiful camera. To look at so uh, anyway I hope that it performs really well and I'll have some follow-up videos coming up in the near future using this camera and we'll see how things go So anyway, hope you like this video. If you do, please give a like and subscribe and I'll keep adding more videos like this and we'll get into the setup of this on, on my telescope here in uh, one of the next videos. So thank you very much. My name is Doug and this is Astro AF.